Welcome everybody. Today's video finds us over here in Chinatown. We're just at the edge of Chinatown and we're going to take a look at something that's a little bit different. We're going to look at the Crocodile Temple. It's also known as Wat Cha Kru Wat, I believe, and formerly known as Wat Sam Plume. Uh, this is an Ayutthaya era temple and it's famous for having a crocodile here. And uh, we'll walk around and we'll look. We'll look at Chinatown and then I'll tell you a little bit about the uh, fearsome one-eyed crocodile and the history of it as uh, we walk around the temple. So let's look at Chinatown and then we'll walk through there and we'll go over to the temple. Right here at the edge of the Chinatown Market. So we'll walk through here. We stopped over at Yarrowit Road and then it's a short walk up Yarrowit through all of the uh, market and then we'll go over to the temple. It's probably like uh, 200 meters or so but uh, as you can see the market is already starting to get pretty crazy. So I've done a few videos from over here in Chinatown. I think this is called Sampang Lane. And this is uh, the main shopping area of Chinatown. And it is super chaotic. It goes north-south, and we're not gonna go up in there. It's too crowded right now, and there's motorcycles and everything else. But we're gonna cross right over it. Here's the southern way. You can see it's all covered. There's lots of shopping. And then there's food and stuff like that all around here. This is where you wanna come when you come to Chinatown. You wanna come here and you wanna walk around here you have some uh, noodles little restaurant and then they have knickknacks and stuff like that for sale yeah Chinatown you can find anything that you want there's some fresh fruit and stuff for the kids and then uh, more uh, more fruit here pineapple and the Sam O another little restaurant and then over here have some meat on a stick and then more of the shopping yeah there's tons and tons of stuff to see and eat here and then you can go over to Yarrowit Road also that's where you want to go during the evening is to uh, Yarrowit Road and eat some of the food along the way there this is during the day come over here walk down the, the little uh, walking street market area and find some stuff so the temple is just right up over here and you can't hardly see anything there's too many buildings everything else but uh we'll we'll get over there there he has some little snacks and some uh, meat on a stick he's throwing it up there and this is pretty chaotic this is the edge of the market now we kind of walk through the busy part Okay, so this is the way right here to the market. And I'll put a map in to the start of the video, kind of where this is at. So there's a new part and an old part to this temple. So this is the entrance to the grounds. And you can park over here if you're gonna go to Chinatown. They have coffee shops, all the normal stuff, lottery tickets. It's all for sale over here. So here we are in the temple proper so it's an active temple so there are monks as you can see over here they have the crematorium they have all of the things and then this is all parking area and then right over in here is the old part and this is where we want to go and check out so they have the bell tower you can see the top of that chetty over there this is the old part of the temple this is an Ayutthaya era temple and it was in pretty bad condition and during the reign of King Rama III in the early 1800s a couple guys came over here and renovated this temple and then they presented it to King Rama III who changed the name from Wat Sam Plume to its current name the Wat Cha Ka Wat Warihan and he um, bestowed it as a royal temple you can see up there there's a humongous chetty and inside of here is a buddha footprint so we'll take a look at that right quick and then you can see the other chetty over there at the top of it 
So it has a staff of Sheba, and it looks like a Khmer prong. So here is the Buddha footprint, and then it has a Buddha right in there. This is a little moon drop. You see here has the little throne thing inside this little building. It's quite cool. I really like seeing these little moon drops. You see these Buddha footprints all over. It's special to the Thai. So they come here and they pray. You can see the, the doors and, and how this little shrine thing is constructed. Yeah, they put a lot of work into this. That's all the gold leaf. And then they put those little pieces of glass and you can see like the little angels and stuff. And this is up on a little hill in here. Okay, so let's go down. You see this moon drop is just absolutely massive. It has that Khmer prong up on the top. You can see all the, like the little Naga. You can see the Garuda, all the giants and everything up there. Yeah, this is a neat little building. And it has a bunch of bells and other things that you can, uh, you can ring up here. And this is the gate to go back down. So we'll go down here, we'll look at uh, why everybody calls it the crocodile. The monks are hauling some things over here. So they're gonna do a ceremony. Not sure uh, what it's about, but they have chairs and stuff that they're setting up. So this is one of the old buildings. We'll look in there here in a sec. And then you could see this massive, massive chetty here. Yeah, this is definitely cool. I really like how they have the little gold archways up there and you can see the standing Buddha. That's pretty cool. Then they have a little shrine here. We'll look at it in a sec, but this is the reason why it's called the Crocodile Temple. So we have a little cave. This right here is the old abbot's house and they've built a little cave and you can see right there is a stuffed crocodile. So what happened was back in the old days when Ayutthaya was the capital of Siam, there was uh, crocodiles in the Chow Praia River and they had a massive one that's that, that one's that one right there. It was named I Boat, I think. It was a one-eyed crocodile and he was killing people. So the local men got together and they went to try to hunt him down. And the crocodile swam up here into the temple and hid underneath this little cave, underneath the, uh, the monk's house. So the monk decided that he talked to the guys and said, if you don't kill him, we'll take care of him here in the temple. So the locals agreed and they said, as long as you keep him pinned up and uh, don't let him out to kill other people. So that's what he did. He agreed to keep him here in this little pen. And that's whenever he died, they stuffed him. And you can see there's uh, a couple of his ancestors right over here. So there's two here and the water looks terrible. It's uh, pretty, pretty brackish. And then there's a big one right over here. And you can see this one here. He's just over here by himself. Oh, I didn't even notice this one here. So there's another one. So they're just hanging out here. And these are and right next to the crocodiles is this little shrine here. So we have this guy sitting here. I'm not sure about the significance of him, but he has a cat hanging out in here. But the Thais would come over here and pray. Here's a nice look at that chetty. So you can see the Chinese architecture right there. And then it goes up to the top of that. And you can see the tree branches growing up there. Yeah, that is a really cool chetty. And there's some more of the Chinese styling over there. Let's look into this little shrine here. There's about three more things that I want to look at. Hopefully we can stick our head in here. The monks will let us in. This is the ordination hall. And you can see the styling up there on the gable has the angels, has the uh, naga, all of that. I really like that blue. You don't really see that blue too much. And then we have this little shrine here. It looks like they have five different Buddha images in here, which this one is the most important one. That's where they have the little shrines. This hall here just has marble and it has some of the old furniture over here. They must be doing something in one of the halls so they moved that over to here. That's kind of a cool looking little wee hand. We'll look at in there in a sec. Let's go in here, see if we can stick our head in this ordination hall. And then there's another wee hand here, but it looks like it's locked up. So this is the Ayutthaya era hall here. 
looks like it's in really, really nice shape. So this was restored in the early 1800s. And then we have a standing Buddha here and it's black. And you can see the styling over the doors. You know, they have all these chairs set up out here. And then this is the, you see the little Buddha Sima stone right there. So it makes this the ordination hall. All right, let's look in here. Wow, this is a really nice hall. So it has the murals. Yeah, these murals have been redone pretty recently. You can see they're in really, really nice shape. And they're definitely Bangkok era with all those blues, the different colors. They've also redone the window shutters. You can see this is a cavernous hall. It has the red and gold ceiling and these big, huge support columns. And the monks are setting up over in here so they're going to do something here with their chanting ceremony they have these set by the little mats and then this is the principal buddha in here yeah this is a really nice hall yeah that's a nice look at it right here you can see the murals on that back wall around the buddha and then the murals all up here and then the scenes of the jataka down below back wall here has a really nice image yeah, I don't know how high the ceiling is in here but the murals go all the way from the floor all the way to the ceiling okay so let's go look at this little wee hand right over here yeah it doesn't look like they're gonna open this building up maybe we'll get lucky and they'll uh, open it up for us so this is the little wee hand that's right next to it. And it's kind of a cool building. I've never really seen one constructed like this. So it's open all around, which I've seen. I've seen buildings like that before, but with this pattern work on the outside, it's different. So this is what's inside of here, is this standing Buddha image. Now they were talking about this, that the main Buddha image faces off towards the west, which is a little bit different, but it faces towards the Grand Palace. And there was also something that it was said that they returned one of the relics from here to Vientiane under the reign of King Rama IV. And then they brought something else from the Grand Palace to here. So I'm not sure if this was the artifact they brought from the Grand Palace or not. If somebody knows, you can uh, tell me in the comments down below. Back here in the back corner is this other little building. You see it has a Sri Lankan style chetty on the top. And this is that little hall that's locked up, which looks pretty cool. I would like to look inside of here. Maybe some other day whenever I come by, it'll be open. But inside this little building is a cool little reclining Buddha. So let's stick our head in here. So this reclining Buddha is housed in this little room. You can see it here has the robe on it. And then they have another one over here. That's the Palai, Palai pose, which I think of as like the Utong. So it has the monkey and the elephants giving it the, uh, the alms donation. So we have one more thing we're gonna look at right here. And they have this kind of interesting structure that they describe as a termite mound. Kind of looks Kind of looks like a termite mound i guess and it has the little lions and stuff and has little steps to go in there and then that looks over towards the other part of the temple and then right up here this is what this is built for this right here they call the buddhist shadow so the ties will come right here they'll pray and they'll make merit and then they'll stick the gold leaf on the buddha you can see it's kind of flaking off a little bit and then this is the last thing we'll look at right here. So they have the uh, fat Buddha. Now the legend of this one right here is that there was a monk that was really, really handsome and he attracted all the attention of the ladies in the area. 
and interaction with the women is forbidden. So he didn't know what to do. So he decided to gorge himself with food and become fat. And that fixed the problem. The women were no longer interested in pursuing him. So that's the legend of this fat Buddha here. And inside those little cubbies, you can see there's a Buddha image there and all of that. And then this is that little hall that's locked up. Yeah, it looks really nice also. Yeah, it's a shame. The monks are all busy over there doing uh, things for the ceremony. So there's not going to be anybody able to open it up for us. We can look at it here at the front. We got to see all the highlights anyway. We got to see the eye boat and we got to see the Buddha shadow. See inside of here. Saw the moon drop over there. All right, everybody. So that's going to finish up our video over here at Wat Cha Kru Wat. <laughs> Little boys. Got to see uh, this cool temple. We got to walk down through Chinatown and see what that looks like. And we got to come over here and take a look at this temple. It's nice enough. It's uh, claim to fame, obviously, is the crocodiles. They have the whole little pen there. The confines where they're kept is kind of small and it's kind of needing a little bit of TLC, but it is what it is. The Thais come over here and uh, pray, make merit, and then they get to go into those halls. The temple itself is quite cool. It's a, it's a nice temple. It's a royal temple, another one of these down here in the old part of Bangkok. It's worth a look at. If you're over here in Chinatown, it's a short walk from the, uh, the market and come over here, spend half hour to an hour or so, walk around, look and check it out. So anyway, if you have any questions about it, ask me down below. I'll try to put the best description I can so you can read a little bit more about it in case I forgot to say something during the making of the video. And then you can read about it. And if you have any comments, if you've been here or uh, some, if you have any questions like how to get here, uh, ask me a question down below. If uh, you know something I didn't know, I'll tell me that also, I'll be happy to learn. And uh, definitely smash the like button, subscribe if you're new here. This is the kind of videos I make around Thailand, stuff that you normally don't see. So if you like that, stick around, subscribe, and you're notified when I post a new video. And uh, until next time, remember guys, life is a journey. Enjoy.